Are you ready to saddle up and journey back to the Old West? Picture this a movie from way back in 1967, taking you on a wild ride through the rugged frontier. In this film, you'll meet some big name Hollywood stars who really shine. Get ready for a mix of emotions. There's laughter, surprises, and moments that'll tug at your heartstrings. Have you ever stumbled upon this classic flick? Whether it's a recent find or a memory from long ago, we'd love to hear about it. Share your stories with us and keep your eyes peeled for more fun facts and discussions on the way. Let's keep the conversation going. Share your experiences below and let's chat about this timeless movie. And stay tuned for more exciting stuff. In 1967, a movie about a cowboy navigating the challenges of life in the Wild West hit the screens. It wasn't a big hit at the time, but it stuck with people. The story wasn't just about gunfights and horses. It explored deeper themes about what it means to be human and finding your way in a changing world. Despite not making a huge splash at the box office, the movie slowly gained a devoted following. People connected with its authentic portrayal of cowboy life and the emotional journey of its characters. It wasn't just about action, it had heart. This movie didn't just fade into obscurity, it inspired other stories and even some merchandise. The main character became a symbol of resilience and facing challenges head on. As time went on, this film continued to be remembered and referenced in later westerns. While it might not be the most famous one out there, it definitely made its mark as a thoughtful and introspective take on the genre. And that's the story of how a cowboy named Will Penny became more than just a character in a movie. In a captivating tale of perseverance and artistic vision, a director's unwavering determination brought a timeless story to the silver screen. Despite facing challenges and skepticism from the industry, the movie's visionary director refused to compromise on his creative vision, steering the project with resolve and dedication. Set against the backdrop of the Old West, the film transports audiences to a bygone era, where rugged landscapes and timeless melodies set the stage for a story of resilience and human spirit. Through the director's discerning lens, the character at the heart of the narrative emerges as a compelling figure, navigating the frontier with both grit and grace. As cameras rolled and actors breathed life into their roles, the essence of the story came alive, capturing the imagination of viewers with each frame. Despite initial doubts, the movie's success stands as a testament to the power of unwavering determination and the enduring impact of those who dare to follow their artistic vision to its fullest expression. In the end, the movie's journey from script to screen is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the timeless appeal of stories that defy convention. It is a reminder of the power of artistic vision and the lasting impact of those who dare to pursue their dreams against all odds. Nestled near Mulholland Drive in Los Angeles, a distinguished actor has fashioned his abode into a treasury of memories from his celebrated career. Built by his father after winning an Academy Award in 1959, the house is adorned with keepsakes inside and out reminiscent of his iconic roles. A Roman figure, whip in hand, overlooks the backyard, evoking the spirit of the famous chariot race. Brass knockers from the house of her set proudly greet visitors at his study entrance. Inside, the hallway showcases 20 paintings capturing him in various beloved characters, including the rugged cattleman from his cherished film. Authenticity was paramount in the creation of his favored film, with real antique firearms lending a genuine touch to the production. Opting for genuine props over studio stock aimed to infuse the movie with an authentic feel, enhancing its realism. Interestingly, his career might have taken a different turn had he been cast in a revised role for Stalag 17. Initially considered for the part, alterations to diminish heroism led to his replacement, paving the way for another actor to step into the spotlight. Thus, his cinematic journey not only reflects meticulous attention to detail and production, but also highlights the twists of fate that shape an actor's trajectory. Bruce Dern praised his experience working with Charlton Heston on the film, expressing admiration for Heston's efforts, calling the movie the best work of his career. John Grise made his feature debut unexpectedly, with the producers originally not planning to cast him. However, he impressed them during informal auditions at the studio. Tom Grise directed his first major big-budget film with this project, transitioning from low-budget pictures and television work. These elements combined to shape the unique production of the movie. Charlton Heston, the lead actor in the movie, attributed its lackluster performance at the box office to its bleak conclusion and the change in management at Paramount Pictures. He believed the new management marginalized films produced under the previous leadership. In his autobiography, Heston described the director, Tom Grise, as talented but unpredictable. 
Grise was praised for his work when given the right material. The film drew loose inspiration from an episode of The Westerner, but took a different narrative path, despite both stories featuring line riders for a cattle ranch. In the world of movies, some actors start off unsure about certain roles, but end up finding success by making smart career moves. One actor, for example, teamed up with a director, and together they made some really memorable movies. There was one film where a writer's ideas caused some trouble, showing how complicated things can get in Hollywood. Even though people had different opinions about it, the actor still liked the story of a Western movie, proving he had good taste in storytelling. That movie became a big deal in his career, known for its great story and how it showed the Old West. Overall, this actor's journey shows how Hollywood movies changed over time. A chance meeting between actor-screenwriter Bo Dare and Charlton Heston at the Encino Library in Los Angeles resulted in Dare writing The Lost Cowboy, a script that continues the story of Will Penny 20 years later, where he is reunited with Joan Hackett's character, Catherine. Eva Marie Saint, Lee Remick, Joanne Woodward, and Gene Simmons all declined the role of Catherine Allen. Charlton Heston often cited Will Penny as his favorite among all the films he made. It's worth noting that the movie resonated with Heston on a personal level. Charlton Heston, in his autobiography, recalled being told that the 1967 movie could have been more successful if his character had taken the girl with him at the end. Anthony Zerb and Clifton James appeared together in three films, including this one. Some critics felt the film suffered from over-the-top villains and Donald Pleasance's American accent attempt, with one review noting that the villains seemed out of place in an otherwise serious story. In an interview for the Region 1 DVD retrospective documentary, John Grise confessed his genuine fear of Bruce Dern. He shared anecdotes about their interactions on set, highlighting the intensity Dern brought to his role and how it sometimes spilled over off-camera, leaving the cast and crew on edge. The film faced a setback at the box office, partly due to its release coinciding with Planet of the Apes, which also starred Charlton Heston. Despite critical acclaim, the timing of the release proved challenging for drawing audiences. Notably, this marked Lee Major's first credited film role having previously appeared uncredited in Straight Jacket. His performance as a young cowboy caught in a web of moral dilemmas captivated audiences and set the stage for his future success in the industry. This Western tale of love, loyalty, and sacrifice resonated deeply with viewers, cementing its place in cinematic history as a classic of the genre. Indeed, the legacy of Will Penny endures, reminding us of the power of storytelling and the timeless themes that continue to captivate audiences across generations.